If you've liked or shared any of these memes and you're not black, you could be committing digital blackface, which makes you a racist. Let's talk about it. Guys, before we get into today's video, please like and subscribe and go to the description down below to sign up for my email list where you get personal updates from me, plus all the content we put out throughout the week. So CNN recently put out an article on Twitter where they got hellishly ratioed by the people who wanted to call them out for saying that this is racism. And I know a lot of you might be thinking, what is digital blackface? So let's get into the article here from CNN.com. It says, what's digital blackface and why is it wrong when white people use it? Aren't you so excited to see what white people are doing wrong? Now let's read the article. Maybe you shared that viral video of Kimberly Sweet Brown Wilkins telling a reporter after narrowly escaping an apartment fire, ain't nobody got time for that. You guys remember that? And then the smoke got me. I got bronchitis. Ain't nobody got time for that. Perhaps you posted that meme of supermodel Tyra Banks exploding in anger on America's Next Top Model. I was rooting for you. We were all rooting for you. How dare you? And maybe you simply posted popular gifs, such as the one of NBA great Michael Jordan crying, or of drag queen RuPaul. But now they're saying, if you're black and you've shared such images online, you get a pass. But if you're white, you may have inadvertently perpetrated one of the most insidious forms of contemporary racism, guys. One of the most insidious forms of contemporary racism. Remember that. You may be wearing digital blackface. Now they go on to explain that blackface is sharing these racialized memes, which I don't know who racialized them other than CNN. They're just memes of black people doing things that people deem to be funny. If anything, they're identifying with black people and saying, this is how I feel right now. They go on in this article to explain why digital blackface is wrong. Some may say posting a video of Sweet Brown saying, oh Lord Jesus, it's a fire. I said, oh Lord Jesus, it's a fire. It's just for laughs. Why overthink it? Why give people yet another excuse for labeling white people racist for the most innocuous behaviors? But critics say digital blackface is wrong because it's a modern day repackaging of minstrel shows, a racist form of entertainment popular in the 19th century. That's when white actors, faces darkened with burnt cork, entertained audiences by playing black characters as bumbling, happy-go-lucky simpletons. So they're saying that if you share a meme of a black person, typically a black actor or entertainer, who willingly appeared on screen or on camera, if you share that you're a racist because you are making fun of black people? Are you guys understanding this? Are you picking up what they're putting down here? As far as minstrel shows go, this is not a repackaging of minstrel shows, which were in fact blatantly racist. This is not at all digital blackface. If you wanna talk about blackface, I don't know, go talk to Jimmy Kimmel or Justin Trudeau, they happen to know a lot about blackface. The people who are sharing memes on their iPhone with their friends and in their group chats are not committing acts of racism. It's just unbelievable to me that CNN would put something like this out. And of course, they got ratioed to all hell on Twitter for saying something like this, because this is an activity that brings about community and actually represents black people. These are famous black people for the most part who are being shared in these memes and gifs and people are sharing them because they identify with what is expressed in the videos. They identify with the black actors or the black people who are in these videos. Or at the very least, they find them entertaining and they find it funny. It's not to make fun of blackness. It's not to feel superior to other black people. It's to identify with them. And it's so weird that when leftists go on these rants about this being blatantly racist and something that they need to get rid of, you're in fact erasing black people and erasing the marks that they are leaving on the current generation. It's very similar to me with what they did with Uncle Ben's rice or Aunt Jemima who sat on the maple syrup bottles that you buy at the grocery store. Instead of saying, wow, this is a great representation of a fantastic brand that is a household name in American homes, and Aunt Jemima should be on the front and center of it and given recognition for that, 
No, let's take her face off of it. The same with Uncle Ben's rice, and even outside of, of Black culture, I guess. The Land O'Lakes Native American, who was on that brand in particular, swiped right off. So now you had moments for clear and distinct representation of Black people and people of color that you have wiped away because they are racist. And I want to go back to the moment in this article where they say something very, very extreme. You may have inadvertently perpetrated one of the most insidious forms of contemporary racism. Now, this actually makes me smile, and I'll tell you why this makes me smile. Because if this is one of the most insidious forms of contemporary racism that they can find, you sharing a meme of a Black person that you find funny or entertaining or you identify with, then guess what? Black people are doing pretty good. If digital blackface is one of the most insidious forms of contemporary racism, then by George, we've done it. Look at us. Look at us. Huh? Who would have thought? Not me. We've become a progressive nation where black and white people can live in coexistence. And in fact, white people willingly share the work of other black people that they identify with. This article is absolutely ridiculous. I thought you all needed to see it and get to know and understand whether or not you're a racist. Because if you're a white person watching this right now, who has apparently shared a meme or a gif of a person of color, you are a racist. <laughs> Join the club, I guess. I am the half black face of, of white supremacy. You are the white face of digital blackface. And to all of you who may read this article and be moved by it, don't be, don't be. In fact, go commit an act of digital blackface. I will use my half black card to give you permission. Bye guys. 